Hello and welcome to the Z Hut. Today we're going to do a product review. We're going to take a look at a USB digital microscope. So what we'll do first is we'll go over the microscope real quick and then we'll uh, plug it into the computer and uh, we'll show you some video of it running live. So these are readily available online. You can find them places like Amazon, eBay, Deals Extreme, Geek, all those different places that you can get cheap electronics. It's going to run you about $25, a little more, a little less, depending on where you go. Um, you'll find lots of different looking styles and the boxes will be different, but the insides of these are all pretty much the same. So whatever one you're looking at, this will give you a pretty good idea of how it's going to work. Um, It'll just visually look different, but the insides are most likely going to be 100% the same. These all come from China. Um, so what we got, it's a USB, and this will work with the uh, 3.0 and the 2.0 and the 1.1. So it should work with just about any USB. Um, they make different styles for the software you're going to use it with. And there's actually a list on the side here. Um, I got the one for Windows 8. But it also works with uh, 7 and XP. I've tried it and it works. But you can also get these for your Android device, for your iPhones and iPads, and you can get them for the, your Mac. Um, they come, there is a wireless version. I just got the USB. I'm imagining the wireless is probably Bluetooth then. Then you can get different magnification powers. I got the 500 here. And the only difference on the magnification is just going to be the lens and the focal point. It's going to be the same sensor in there. But you can get them anywhere from 200 all the way up to 1600. Um, there's obviously a couple different color choices on them. I just got the black. So um, these are very useful. What I use it for the most is um, two different things, actually. I use it for inspecting circuit boards, looking for popped and bad solder joints, and um, we'll show you in a minute here. I've got an Arduino board. We'll take a close-up look at some solder joints on there. But what this really works awesome for is coin roll hunting. You can use it. Um, if you don't know what coin roll hunting is, it's going to the bank, getting rolls of coins, open them up, and you're looking for error coins. And instead of having to use a jeweler's loop to inspect the coin carefully, you can go over them really quick with this. I just set the laptop up in front of me and just go through the coins real quick and it's a hundred times faster than going through them with a magnifying glass and the jeweler's loop way way faster so if you're in the coin roll hunting definitely get one of these it's worth the money big time but, uh, if you do electronic stuff a lot of that it does come in handy for it um, now this is only a two megapixel it's not like you're using an 18 megapixel DSLR you're not going to get that great a quality, but I found on the coins it's perfect. Uh, the clarity is is well and more enough for doing coin roll hunting. And for checking solder joints, it's not too bad. Um, I did see there were some other like 5 megapixel ones that were more expensive, but I didn't want to spend all that money because I, I had heard these were awesome. For the coins and that's what i originally got it for but i do a lot of other electronics and one day i had a solder joint i couldn't quite tell i was using the jeweler's loop it looked like it was bad hooked up the usb camera and or excuse me the usb microscope stuck it on there and sure enough there was a bad solder joint and i fixed it and it was actually one of my arduino boards it wasn't this one i think i've since fried that one i use it a lot of my experience experiments i use the cheaper ones because sometimes things go wrong but um on the box it says you can use it for skin inspection i mean you can see somewhat pretty good um it said textiles too and i'll show you that in a minute i'll just put the run the microscope over the cloth um it doesn't really show very good um it might just be because i'm using a darker color but i did try it on some of the planets in the backdrop ain't the greatest, so I wouldn't recommend it for that. Um, now in the box, you get the, um, of course, you get the USB microscope. Then you get a driver software, and then there's also a program on here for viewing it, um, to view um, the microscope on the computer. 
And um, I've looked, you know, some of the other ones, they're almost all the same. They're real similar. So like I said, whichever one you're getting, this little um, <clears throat> review is going to pretty much answer your questions. But otherwise, in the box also as well, I didn't take it out because I never used There's this little calibration ruler because I guess you can set this up for doing measurements too. But I've <clears throat> never used it for that, so I never did that. Otherwise, that's all that's in the box. So it's a microscope, the driver desk, and this little plastic calibration ruler. Um, now on this microscope itself, you got right here, I can focus in for between 50 times and 500 times. And how that works is basically the closer you have it, the higher the magnification is going to be. You just got to focus it. It's not going to be have it here and then use that to zoom. That's just your focus. So when I'm doing the coins, you know, I put them down and I pretty much just set the microscope right on there. And uh, two, there's a little lens cap, which is nice. Then you don't have to try and get in there and clean dust off of it. It also has LEDs built right into it, which was awesome because then you don't need an external light shining at what you're um, trying to inspect. Um, the stand ain't the worst, ain't the greatest. The base plate is metal. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll stick a magnet on there because it is a little tippy and um, it's adjustable. It ain't the greatest and... A lot of the times when I do, it does pop right off the stand. And I'll just use it handheld like that and put it on the item I'm inspecting. Now, <clears throat> see here, there's a digital zoom as well. Um, I can't remember. I think it was like five times digital zoom. Yeah, it says so right here on the front of the box. Five times digital zoom. And then um, this will, with the software that comes with it, will record video. But you can also take pictures, and the nice thing is, if you're going to take a picture, it's got a button right there on the side that you can push, and it takes and saves the picture. Um, if you're recording video with it, though, in the software, there's a record button you hit. And I've actually never recorded any video with it. Um, I have taken pictures. Um, when I found an error coin, it had like a repunched mint mark, or it had a cut or something in it. I'd use this and take a picture. And, then I could inspect it further and then have it if I was going to sell the coin. I have, have a picture to put on the ad for it. All right, with that, I think we've pretty much gone over it all. So I think what we'll do next is um, we'll go ahead and uh, I'll plug this into the computer and get the software opened up. So I'll catch you over there in just a second. Okay, I have the software brought up. As you can see here, I've got a 1994 Denver Penny already set up under it and focused in. And as you can see, if you're going to be using this for coin roll hunting, for inspecting coins for errors, that's actually really good magnification and pretty clear. It's not 100%. Um, this right here actually isn't an error. That's just a piece of cat hair or something like that stuck on there. But... Um, this is just a penny I had in my pocket, and there's no errors in it. I just put it on here to show you. I can move it around and show you there's... Here you can see there's a little more junk right there stuck on it, because it came out of my pocket. Let's stick something else under there. Uh, actually, I'm just going to take it off the stand, make this a bit easier. There you can see this is a 2004 D nickel. Now the nickels don't show up as in uh, dimes and quarters don't show up as good as the pennies, but it still works pretty darn good. Um, this is a lot easier to go over the coin real quick with. And then if you do think you see an error, you can inspect it further with uh, a jeweler's loop. But usually when I find them with this, you can pretty much tell it's an error, and it takes a pretty decent picture. And like I said, there's a picture button right on the side, but if you were going to do video, you can see up here. Um, that one right there, you can trigger to take a picture in the software as well, but there's the button. And then the record video is right here. And I do believe under the options, you can set your output folder. Um, I, Yeah, I do believe you can. Um, so let's take a look at some other stuff. Um, I've got a circuit board here. This is... 
Uno. There's some of the writing on the board. Let's go over and look at some. There's some solder joints, and that's a real small surface mount chip. Oh, what else we got on here? There's some little resistors, capacitors, and stuff. So as you can see, for inspecting circuit boards, it's not too bad. I mean, a 5 mega, megapixel camera would probably work a little bit better, but for what I paid for it and um, how often I use it on the circuit boards, it works fine. Because like I said, I use this mostly for looking at coins. Now let's see, I've got something else here. When I was setting it up, a ladybug landed on me and I squished them. There we go. Oh, you can see there's some parasites. Or no, that's the ladybug's arm still twitching. I thought that was a parasite there at first, but might not be completely dead yet. <laughs> uh, actually, this is one of those Asian beetles, not a ladybug. Um, they land on you, they take a bite out of you. So I smacked him and he fell on the desk and I was just setting up for this video, so... So you can see the picture quality isn't the greatest, but it's not bad, especially you're only paying $25 for the thing, so. Um, there's the wood laminate on my desk, or the veneer. Not a whole lot to see on there. There's my mouse pad. That's just the design on the mouse pad. Um, oh yeah, I said I was going to show you some fabric. I already put the backdrop away, but this is a sweatshirt I'm wearing. It's a cotton blend. As you can see, it's kind of hard for anything to show up. Let me try my blue jeans, see if that's... Yeah, the blue jean material shows up a little better. Sorry, my hand's a little shaky. I don't have this in a stand right now. I'm just hand holding it. So the blue jean shows up a lot better. Um, look here, click. Um, there's another table next to me. It's got a wood green. There's my hand. That actually doesn't show up too bad. I guess I hadn't tried this before. So for skin inspection, it would work good. Um, if you're not a doctor, I don't know why you'd need to inspect your skin. <laughs> Maybe if you want to inspect your tattoo, you could try that. But um, That's all there is to it. Oh, before I forget, at the beginning of the video, I mentioned there's LEDs in here. I forgot to mention there's a little control in the cord. It's got just a little rotary potentiometer in here and you can turn down the light and there it's all the way off. This software also has an automatic ISO built into it. That's why the picture brightness changes back to normal right away. But there's full on and there's full off. All right, so um, we're going to wrap this product review up. Um, if uh, you look in the, in the description below, you'll find a link to the website, and I'll, uh, on there I'll have some more pictures of this, and I'll have some links where you can get them. Um, so if you want to check that out, just click down below. And Hey, please consider giving me a thumbs up. would appreciate it. So have a great day. Hope to see you here again.